Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. It is not a secret that Han. Rigathi Gachigua, Deputy President, and Han. Johnson Sakaja, Governor of Nairobi County, are not taking any chances when it comes to slamming into one another. Additionally, a dispute that arose as a result of Sakaja's decision to expel Matatas from the CBD has now turned into tribal politics, with Matatus claiming that the second-in-command is attempting to blackmail him regarding matters pertaining to the affairs of Nairobi. However, in a quick response to Sakaja's remarks yesterday in which he referred to him as a Kikuyu tribalist, the second-in-command questioned why he was not referred to as such when he urged Bishop Winjiru to drop the seat on Sakaja's behalf. Gachigo also wondered if Igatha was a Kamba. We are not tribal, and neither am I. I asked Margaret Winjiru to put her plans for the young man on hold when Governor Johnson Sakaja was being elected. Was that ethnic? Was I tribal? There was Igatha against whom I gathered support. He also mentioned that a group of people had planned to discredit him on tribal lines, so he asked. To add, the police officers can now wear both the old khaki military uniforms that were introduced by the former president Uhuru Kenyatta and the new uniforms that were introduced by the current president, William Ruto. This is only temporary, the decision will be made after the task force appointed by the president to investigate the matter and led by former C.J. David Moraga. The police officers want to return to their khaki uniforms because they believe that wearing blue uniforms does not really convey the seriousness of their work. The 23-member task force will also consider pay and allowances, medical coverage, and other welfare issues. In addition, the team will have to evaluate, consider, review, and make a recommendation regarding the nature, quality, and standard of the uniform for officers working for the Kenya Prison Service, KPS, and the National Police Service, NPS, as well as for prisoners and inmates. In other news, after the ODM party leader revealed that the head of state is in the opposition to stay, Han. Sabina Cheej, the nominated member of parliament for the Jubilee Party, summoned Uhuru to provide an update regarding his stay and commitment to the Azimio One Kenya coalition. The Standard Media Group reports that Sabina Cheej contends that Rila's remarks on Sunday have caused confusion in the opposition due to the fact that most MPs have joined Kenya Kwanzaa's side following the announcement that Uhuru will step down as chairman in the coming days. Cheej argues that the majority of Mount Kenya leaders are awaiting Uhura's information before making any decisions regarding their political plans. In a similar vein, Kamani Wambugu concurred with Cheej's sentiments, stating that Uhura must declare his position openly, rather than causing confusion within the party. Finally, in response to reports that President William Ruto's first interview with the media resembled that of former President Uhuru Kenyatta, KTN new anchor James Smart spoke out on January 9 afternoon. Smart responded via his official Twitter handle, revealing that Uhuru Kenyatta left his first interview as president after William Ruto turned down his request for regular interviews. Smart claims that whenever Uhuru Kenyatta was irritated by interviewers' questions, he would always shout them down. According to Smart's statement, Uhura's first media roundtable was a meeting of a president who was irritated by questions from journalists, he shouted down interviewers, and he exited the room in a haste when he was done, in contrast to President William Ruto, who always interacts with journalists, according to his statement, the former head of state always left the interview room quickly. However, the online Kenyans who appeared to disagree with Smart's position regarding the duo, expressed mixed opinions regarding Smart's opinion of Uhuru Kenyatta. One Kenyan responded, Just let Kenyans be, you are merely sucking up to Ruto. Hope you enjoy the video.